Jackie Richardson was born in 1947 near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, then made her home in Toronto from a very young age before her family moved north and settled in Richmond Hill. At 16, she began performing professionally for the first time with the Tiaras Quartet, performing all across the globe. She has since become one of Canada's most highly regarded stars of gospel, jazz and blues. She is also well known for her stage, screen and studio work. Jackie possesses a powerful and supple voice that is a perfect match for her vibrant stage presence. We're here with Jackie Richardson, star of stage, screen, singer extraordinaire, Richmond Hill legend. Did you always know you wanted to be a performer? Thank you for all that, Ali. Yeah. Um, I, yes, I did. My dad was the music enthusiast, and so through him we all found the love of music, and that was like seven siblings. At what point did you realize that this was something you were gonna do for a living? So when Motown came along, um, 14, 15 years old. And um, friends of mine who, um, they started a girls group called the Tears, and I went for the audition. And I could dance. I couldn't sing, but I could dance. So I did the choreography until I got my voice together. You've had success in film, stage, obviously as a singer. Is music your first love? Music is the constant, constant, constant in my life. I see What I found when you have that artistic um, personality and you're put into that first thing that you think you're going to do all the time, all of a sudden you look around and you see that um, if you do theater, then whatever you're doing with the acting, that informs the music. And then you find the music in the acting. See? And, and then all your everyday experiences inform both of them and there's no limit. You moved from Pittsburgh to Richmond Hill at a young age. Was that a difficult transition? It was a difficult transition. In 1958, the Richardsons are the first black family to move into this area. And, and we went to Beverly Acres School. I had uh, two brothers who fought for, for the girls, these poor girls, had to fight for the girls all the time. It was really, really hard. People were just weren't used to, you know, this difference. And, and so it was, it was a constant, constant fight. They're used to us now, but. <laughs> You've performed on this stage more than any other artist in our five-year history. Really? Absolutely. Oh, wow. Do you feel a personal connection to this building? Most definitely. To know from, from, the, from the set of, of the dream when it was just on paper and then watch it grow. Um, and I think it's really important for, for uh, a, a town to have its own center. When I say I truly, truly enjoy life. And when we all get down and all that kind of stuff, I don't linger there very long because uh, the, the, the love is too strong. And, um, and I used to put it and make a card that said, don't let nobody take your joy because it's not theirs to take. <laughs> 